pretty simple. You'll need a mat, a good catitude, and then I'm using a couple of sets of weights. For example, fives, eights, and twelves. If for some reason that is a little too intense, feel free to do things body weight. We are doing push-ups today. Love you, mean it. Um, and if anybody has any injuries, let me know. So that that way I can start to think about what be, might be best for you in other instances. I'm going to be muting everybody here in just a moment. Um, welcome to AAA Friday. I'm not wearing shoes. Shana, I, lately what I've been doing is I don't wear shoes at all. And I'm going to show everybody the bottom of my feet. They're pretty dirty. I don't care anymore. Um, I've been training without shoes for a while now. And honestly, I have bunions, just TMI. Uh, I have bunions. And so wearing shoes is not my favorite anyways. So I've just been training barefoot. My feet feel a lot stronger. So if you feel unsafe without uh, shoes on, feel free to put shoes on. Um, I want to give Lauren a quick shout out. She's wearing a Mandalorian t-shirt which I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, it's coming back this fall. She's like, I don't know, my, my lips are sealed. Very Hillary Duff of you. All right, everybody, stand up. I'm going to mute everyone. Continue. And claim some space in your space. So take up some room, spread your hands out, spread your arms out. Really take a deep breath in here. Fill it up and exhale to fold forward. Sorry, I'm starting my watch. Too many things going on here. Again, deep breath in, fill up the lungs. And exhale, fold. Last one, inhale to reach the arms up, crack the heart open. Exhale to fold. And then roll yourself up to stand. We're gonna take care of the first thing first by turning our playlist on in five, four, three, two, hit play now. And our warm up, four minutes ish. So we're gonna get everything warm in our warm up. Bring yourself onto your mat, step your feet nice and wide apart. Roll the shoulder heads back and down. Then we're gonna go for a full range of motion squat. Drop down. Press into all four corners of your feet. Exhale to squeeze. Awesome. A little faster on the tempo if you want. Inhale down and squeeze. Really important on your squat. Your knees stay behind your toes. In fact, I like to lift and wiggle my toes around on my squats. Good. At the top of the squat, sweep the arms back behind you and open the chest so you feel a little back engagement. We're gonna be moving on into a nice high knee jog to get the heart rate up in three, two, and one. Let's go. So if you're not jogging, if you're not jumping today, no problem. Bring it down a notch. As long as you're moving, I'm a happy camper. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, plant the left foot, right foot back and stand, back and stand. Good, inhale, cross the ankle, exhale to rise. So it's drop it back, squeeze that left glute. Hi, Gav. Yes, so Gav, if you need the playlist and anything else, I'm just gonna pop this in the chat for us. Team, switch legs. So balancing now on the right, cross the left and squeeze. We do have curtsies today. So of course we've got to warm up with a little curtsying. <laughs> nice, Julie. Good, Anna. How come Anna doesn't get to be by the camera? Yeah, I said it. Couple more, team. Get a little bit under halfway to go on the warm up. Inhale down, exhale. Give me last one here. Then from here, turn the toes out. Hands on the hips, soften the knees. I hinge and I rise. Back is flat. 
It's a hinge, hold, and squeeze. Again, hinge, hold, and squeeze. Tuck that tail. My toes are turned out, so I've got a little rotation in the hip. Inhale down, hold, and squeeze. We add the arms. Inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. Nice. Inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. One more slow right here. We reach, and exhale, pull. Double time. Let's go. Four, and pull. Three, and pull. Two, and pull. Last one, and pull. Good. Come on down to your mat. Hands and he uh, toes. Roll the shoulders back. Then from here, I'm going to shift up to down dog. Shift forward to plank, lower the knees, two push-ups. Good, let's do that two more times. Down dog, shift to plank, lower the knees, two push-ups. Good, last one. Shift up and back, down dog. Plank position, squeeze the seat, lower the knees, two push-ups. Good, once you're done with that, flip the legs forward. You're on your heels and your arms reach forward. Roll the shoulders back. Awesome, roll back to the lower back only. Exhale, lift. We're engaging the abdominals. Inhale, exhale, roll halfway, and rise. Two more, nice and slow. Round the spine, lower back taps, and rise. Last one, I want you to hold it down. Lower down, hold. Take the hands behind the head, lift your legs up. Good, hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hug the knees in, rock yourself up. If you need a sip of water, grab it now. And we're gonna get started, okay? So first thing first, grab your medium dumbbells. I'm grabbing my eights. Balance on the right foot. Hinge at the weights, touch your right pinky toe with your weight and rise and switch. Then I balance on my left, I twist over towards my left with my right and squeeze. So it's a single leg hinge, soft bend in the knee. I'm gonna call this alternating pinky toe today. So single leg balance, reach across. So from the front, I've got one foot down, I take the opposite palm across and squeeze. Good team, we've got about 20 more seconds to go. Next action, we're gonna keep these dumbbells and we'll move into our curtsies. So our curtsy is gonna include a figure four squat. This is five, four, really squeeze the seat in two, good. Shake out the shoulders, balance on your right foot. Take your left ankle, cross it behind you, then loop it in front, squat down, bring the weights to your chest. Repeat, same side. Curtsy lunge and figure four squat. So from the side, curtsy behind me, cross and bring those weights in front of the chest. Curtsy and cross. Now remember the leg you're balancing on. Mine's my right because we're gonna do something different and then do our left. So if that's confusing you, no worries. I'm here to support. Good, you've got nine more seconds to go on this. First side, curtsy, cross and sit. Three, two, drop off your mediums, grab your heavies. Turn your toes out. Good, roll the shoulders back, inhale to hinge, exhale to roll the shoulders and squeeze. Deadlift in sumo, so my knees are turned out, my toes are turned out. My back stays flat, but I'm only hinging at my back, right? So I'm not really rounding my spine. I'm sticking my hips out and then squeezing my hips like a door hinge. It's the only joint moving. If you feel this in the back of your knees, bring a little soft bend into this play. Good, 15 more seconds here and power it up. Yes, so we've got four activities. 
And we're gonna loop through them three times to total 12 minutes. Four, three, two, return to your medium dumbbells. I'm grabbing my eights. Left foot balances, right? Right foot comes across. Figure four, sit. So from the side, right comes across the left hip, and then sit into your figure four. So you should feel a nice stretch through the outer hip on that right foot. Left leg staying down and planted. You're welcome for the Quad City DJs, one of my favorite tracks from my high school days. Michelle, Tamika, and Tanya wanna ride this train. Yes. Nice, Gev. Perfect, Sarah. This looks gorgeous. Good, Shayna. Nice drop. Team, you've got just a few more moments here. This is seven, six, five, four. We go right into exercise number one. Keep these weights. Exercise one, alternating pinky toe. Right leg balance, hinge and squeeze. Left leg balance, hinge and squeeze. So much hinging today. So much lunging today. Inhale down and pull to stand. Alternate your sides, flex your feet. There's my, there's my cue right there. Ooh, my right leg is just struggling to find balance today. <laughs> Turns out I'm a human being, right? Nice, good Amanda. Good Audrey. Yes! Take a look at yourself in a side mirror. If you're working out with a friend, tell them how they're doing. Finishing strong on this side. This is three, two, keep the dumbbells. Right leg comes across and then crosses the hip. So curtsy. Rise and give it a nice little squat. Single leg balance, if you can, on this second round. Is it possible to not let that right foot land to stand? So you step it back, that's the only time it'll touch. Then we cross and sit with the weights right in front of the chest. Say for example, the weights are just making things really, really challenging today. Well, in that case, drop them off, use the arms for your counterbalance. Amanda, I love that you're using hand weights and then also wrist weights. I'm into it. I can't wait to see how you feel when we move into the arm work. Please share with me that feeling. You're done in four, three, two. Good, grab your heavy dumbbells. Awesome, turn your toes out. Inhale to hinge. Exhale to squeeze the shoulders back and down. Inhale and roll. Good. Inhale. Maybe your weights touch the floor. Maybe they don't. Maybe I come down this far and that's great too, right? What I don't want to see is any rounded spine. So we want to stick our butt out and then rise to stand. You got about 30 more seconds to go on this. <sighs> Lots of breath. Really fill it up and really push it out. Drop those shoulders at the top of every rep. We're done in about 15 more seconds. Go slower instead of faster if you can. Team, we have three rounds of these four actions. We're almost done with round number two, knowing full well I'm not giving rest. So if you need breaks, you take them when you're ready. This is three, two, and one. Balance on the right foot. Take the left ankle, cross it. And I have my medium dumbbells for this, so feel free to grab your mediums if you need them. Or you can keep your heavies on this side. In round three, I'll offer up the uh, opportunity to use your heavies the whole time. If you're feeling strong enough and you're feeling warm enough. If you're not, use a set of weights that feel attainable. Nice, Gev. Good. Good, Shana. Good, Amanda. Beautiful, Lauren, nice balance in your figure four. Good, Julie, flex your foot. Beautiful job, team. We got about 20 more seconds on the left. So I'm balancing on my right. My left leg is my moving leg. On your third round, you can choose the leg you want to start with. You can come with me or do your own thing. Five seconds left. Four, 
three, two. So if you're coming with me, I'm gonna grab my heavy dumbbells for the whole round. Single leg balance, pinky toe, 60 seconds. I reach across and I squeeze. Then I switch my leg. I reach across my torso, touch the floor, and squeeze. Switch. This is not meant to be fast. It's a balance effort. One weight comes across the midline and touches just in front of the toe of your stable foot. Inhale your way down and squeeze your way up. Just finding that door hinge as we wrap up our last 20 seconds on effort one out of four, which really is just three because we're doing two sides of the same activity. But I don't know about you, but I'm starting to lose my breath. So focusing on the breathing here, last six, five. I'm gonna keep these dumbbells and move into my right leg balancing right here. So right leg will balance, curtsy, figure four. Good, back to the curtsy and back to the figure four. How wide of a curtsy can you make? So how far can you cross the hip and how low can you go? And then rise to stand, sweeping that leg across and landing it on top of the thigh. Nice, Anna. Beautiful form, Sarah. Really nice. Nice, Gev. Gev is adding a little side kick. So if you guys get a chance to take a look, he's just able to lift that leg up nice and wide. I really like that. That's a really graceful move. Beautiful job, team. You've got just about 10 more seconds on this first side. Pull it in and cross it. You've got four, three, two, and one. Good. Toes and knees point outward. Inhale to hinge. Exhale, roll those shoulders at the top. It's your last deadlift set today. Now, quick reminder. It goes as arms, then abs. So what's next after these? We work our arms. Yes, we have push-ups. Yes, we have dips today. D-I-P-S. Don't get any ideas there. Just a few more seconds on the DLs, right? So deadlifts, my palms face towards my thighs. <sighs> Let that air out with lots of power and energy. Finishing in 10 seconds. One thing left to do, then we move into our arms section. Really work that seat. Five, four. Give me one more deadlift for the day. Good, keep those weights. And here we go, it's the curtsy cross. Good, and if you don't remember the leg you did, all good. I know, right? It's like, what, what did I do? It's a lesson in memory. So maybe you'll start to feel it and go, oh, right, I did that side. Nobody died, right? We're just focusing on doing the best we can in this moment. Really good. Find the gracefulness, right? Like you're moving through molasses here. Yes. Team, we've got about 25 seconds to go. And the first thing we start with will be our medium weights, our eights, on this next effort. Curtsy it back. Rise it up. We have an Arnold press. We'll stand tall for this press. Finishing in four, three, two, set your heavies down. Now, if you want to watch me for a second, you can, but this is what's up. So we're going to start with the weights right in front of our chest here, right? Then from here, turn them out, press them up, come back. Turn them out, press them up. I'm leaning, or excuse me, I'm kneeling so you can see my arms, but you're standing. Now, if you want to kneel with me, that's great. I'm just doing this so I can stay in the frame. So from the side, we're focusing on not letting our ribs flare open. Lace the ribs, pull those weights back in in front of the heart. Now, after this, we're on the floor for push-ups. There are many, many, many ways you can do push-ups. Could you do them on your knees? Yes. Could you do them at a wall? Yes. Could you hold plank and screw the push-up? Yes. There are options. The only option you can't do is stand and wait. So 
from Arnold Press, right? I'm here, open, push and pull. If reaching overhead is not working for you, just open and close. Last four, three, two. That's okay, Gab, I'll get you, I'll get you on the next round, I promise. All right, plank position, please. Feet nice and wide apart. One minute push-ups. Good, and if push-ups on the floor, I could do my hands down, my knees down. Push-ups on the wall, right? So maybe today my arms are just really tired. I'm pushing myself away from the wall here. You're still training the same musculature, but it's not at such a severe angle. So there's options for you to train that musculature to get stronger. Like Shana's doing like an inclined push-up. That is an awesome way to do this work and not be stressing the body out too much by being in plank. Perfect team. Arms, palms face just slightly in and push away from the floor. Elbows aim back and out. Four, three, two. Flip yourself onto your hands and your heels. Hands behind your hips. Lift your hips up. Start to shift your hips forward. Bend and push. Bend and push. Say, for example, dips are not in the cards for the shoulders. That's okay. You could take a seat, grab your lighter dumbbells, and do an overhead extension. You could also stand and do a triceps kickback. There are options for the triceps. I like dips because dips are hard for me, so I'm making myself work. You've got about 15 more seconds to go on the dips. So we're not doing number base, we're doing effort time base. This is five, four, three, two, last arm effort, grab your mediums. On the knees, hands underneath the shoulders. I'm gonna pull and switch. I'm doing a renegade row on all fours. Mandy. This isn't hard enough for me. Well, congratulations, you're strong. If that's your case, that's awesome. Bring your feet about shoulder width apart and do your renegade rows and plank. That will make things much more fiery. So those are your four arms activities. Awesome, guys. Now remember, we're doing this how many rounds? Three. Four minute rounds. You're almost done with round one. You've got 10 more seconds to go. Starting at the top with the Arnold press in three, two, stand tall. The only reason why I'm not standing is because I want to stay in the frame. Palms face me. I turn them out. I press up. I come back in and I repeat. Nice. Sorry, I'll try not to clank my weights. I know how painful that can be if you're wearing an earbud here. So lots of rotation in the shoulder. For example, if my shoulder's like, I'm not gonna lift those weights. I mentioned this last time for Geb, so I would just open out, close it back down. Open out, and Geb's adding a little, uh, a little curl, which that is the traditional Arnold press, but I figured I'm gonna be nice to you guys today. So if you wanna add the curl in for round two, then I say, go for it. Anybody feeling their shoulders yet, or is it just me? <laughs> Shane is like, yes, I, I can feel the work. Almost there, guys. It's almost time for push-ups. This is three, two, and one. Say, for example, I love doing these push-ups, but I need little breaks. That's where you can go to down dog and then come back to the push-up. So you give yourself a little more time in the positioning without too much strain in the chest. So like I said, there are lots of options. The only option I would say is out of the cards is waiting for the time to lapse. And if you need any ideas, that's why I'm here. Yes, this looks so good. I love it, I love it. Nice, Anna. Perfect, Shana. I love that you've added that down dog, good Sarah. Team, your push-ups are over in nine seconds from now. Can you do two more? 
Good, we flip into dips in three, two, and one. So, hands behind the hips, lift the hips up. It's a small bend in the elbows. I would say two, three inches, that's what she said. Literally, she literally just said it. So it's a push. Remember, option two, overhead tries. Option three, maybe I'm standing up and I'm driving the weights behind me, okay? So either way, we're working this group right here, my triceps group. Nice, Amanda. 30 more seconds. If you're doing dips and you want to make it faster, let's move to the tempo. Lift, lower, lift, and lower. Push, push, push. Oh my God, toes. The front side of my shoulder is feeling such a stretch that it's burning. Nice, Sarah. I like that. Almost there, team. 10 more seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, just a few more. Use the breath and rest. Ring out the wrists for a moment. And then grab the eights or mediums. Come down, renegade row. I'm gonna stay on my knees so I focus on the upper body, strength component. Single, narrow grip row. So my palms face into each other. I exhale the weight up to my armpit without letting my neck strain. So I end up keeping the back of my neck super long here. Lots of breath for the last half. If maybe I want to make this harder, take the legs up, do two, then bring them back down to two more. So splitting the difference there. If holding the weights is a little intense, Split the weight between the palm and switch. You've got five, four, three, two, last round. Stand it up tall and bring it into the chest. Open out, press. Bring it in, open out, and press. And you might notice my feet, right? So I've got, I've got a little staggered stance here because it really makes my lower back feel like it's being supported. So everybody's different. For me, I find when I've got like this kickstand stance, I'm able to brace my abdominals without letting my lower back sway back. Nice, Julie. Or should I call you Big Jin? Yeah, I said it. Oh, look at that face. Good, Gab. Good, Sarah. Nice control. Beautiful, Audrey. Beautiful team. How can you wrap this one up? Because we're not doing this another round. You're done in five seconds. Push-ups are next. Three, two, and one. Choose your poison. I'm going to do my wall push-ups. Why? Because my chest is burned out, man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So some days are better than others. And this is a smart choice over a trying to push yourself choice. So knowing the difference between the pain, right? When I was on the floor doing my push-ups in the round two, I could feel a little strain in my shoulders that wasn't helping me. So if that's the case, I bring myself to the wall and I'm able to realign and now I don't have any of that straining pain. But the effort's a lot easier. It doesn't mean that I'm not getting what I should. It's just not as severe, okay? We have one more set of dips that are happening in about 15 seconds. Nice, I like that, Shana. So Shana's just opening up her chest from plank. I love that choice. Nice, Anna. Three, two, flip it over, hands and heels, or triceps ex overhead press, or tricep extension. You're going, bend, extend. Pick your poison, I want you to stick with it. So I'm gonna stick with this triceps dip on the floor. I have really good news, you guys. We are about halfway done. <sighs> right now, give me 30 more seconds. Push yourselves. We've got 90 seconds left in our arms section, which means we're moving into our final section of class, abs, after our last effort in arms. Eight. Seven, six, oh my gosh, my arms, five, four, three, 
Give me one more dip and rest. Bring out those wrists. Good, come on down to the floor. Hands and knees. Good, renegade row, begin. Pull and switch. Now originally I was like thinking maybe we could do it on the tempo, but this tempo is a little quick for me. So maybe I do half time, right? So I pull, hold, release. Pull, hold, release. Maybe I move a little slower on the descent. That is called an eccentric contraction. It also aids in the toning of the muscle group we work. So in this case, I get bicep and I get mid back for the renegade row. Last 10 seconds in the arm section. Next up is abs. We're gonna start with one of my absolute worst ones, flutter kicks. In four, three, two. Set your dumbbells off to the side. You do not need any more dumbbells today. So coming down to your back, Load your hands underneath your hips, head, neck, and shoulders. Extend to the floor. Bring the legs about 45 degrees. And then from here, it's flutter, 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 flutter. Point the toes. Now, if you want to make this harder, lift the head. So there's options. Pull, push, pull. This one you can totally do to Duran Duran. Yes. 30 down, 30 left. Woo-wee! If I want to make this harder, bring the legs down a little lower and make the flutter kick double time. It's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Nice, Dev. Nice, Shayna. Legs straight and strong. Point the toes. Get it, Julie. Nice, Lauren. Next up on this, we've got a saw in a seated position, my Pilates friends. Here we go. Rise it up, feet. Flex, arms out to the sides, roll the shoulders back. Twist right, reach, and rise. Again to the left. Left, reach, and rise. Right, reach, and rise. Left, reach, and rise. I'm gonna find the right spot for me so I stop running into my uh, closet. Right, and squeeze. Let's move a little quicker on this last half. Really twisting through the torso. So rotation through that torso group. Team, I've got good news. We're on our butts next. Well, we're on our butts now, but squeeze your seat together. We have alternating side V-ups to get those obliques. Three, two, and one. Come on down to your left butt cheek, left forearm. Reach, then move to the other side. Reach, left forearm, right hand. Right forearm, left hand. Left forearm, right. It's a butt massage. It's a core exercise. Yes, it's everything. If it's too much, place the forearm, bend the knees, lift. Place the other forearm, bend the knees, lift. So there's options for the legs. The longer the lever, the harder the work, right? So if you're struggling to keep your legs together, I say bend your knees and keep the legs together as much as you can as the base rule of thumb. So we've got one more thing to do, then we loop through everything again, starting with the flutter kicks. All right, my favorite exercise of the day, come on into Cobra. So pressing into the hands. Pressing into the toes. Lift yourself up to plank and lower back down to cobra. Okay, exhale to lift. You're on the tops of the feet. So my feet are not flexed. The tops of my feet, I'm on top of my feet. Yes, so I'm getting a cobra. My feet are nice and wide apart. And then lifting off my hips, looking down towards my navel. Inhale to open and exhale to round. Good, inhale to open. Woo! Exhale to round, you've got time for one more. Inhale to open, nice Amanda. 
Exhale to round and sit back, child's pose. Stretch your back for just a moment. And then we're gonna loop through everything again. Flip over onto your back. Flutter kicks. Now, if you wanna make this harder, stack the hands behind the head. Lift the legs up. Flex the feet this time. And flutter kick. So option one, my hands were behind my hips. My head was either down on the mat, or maybe I lifted my head, neck, and shoulders. So this was option one, right? Option two, my legs are flexed, my hands brace the back of my head. Maybe I bring the legs even lower on this second option. If your lower back is like, this is not working for me, I can't do this, then what I'd like for you to do is keep your head down, keep your legs up high, lower one leg and switch, then lower the other leg and switch. So like I said at the top of this class, and I've repeated myself profusely, there's always an option. You just have to ask. This is four, three, two, and one. Knees to chest, rock yourself up. Feet about shoulder width apart, arms out wide, twist over to the right, saw off the pinky toe, rise up, twist to the left, saw off your other pinky toe, rise, saw and twist, rise, saw and twist. Notice, are you lifting as tall as you can so rib cage is away from your hips? So Amanda, I would stand. Place your hands on your hips. And then reach the arms out to the side. Soften the knees and twist, pulse, back to center. Twist, pulse. Because I'm thinking it's probably flexors. If that's not working, talk to me. Yeah, good. Nice, Anna. Really reach for that pinky. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm swallowing my own spit. Very sexy. Three, two, and one. On to your back side again. So roll to your right forearm, left grab. Roll to your left forearm, right grab, left, and right. Again, if this is too much, Roll down to your back. Drop the knees to the right. Reach for that outside edge of the ankle. Onto your other side. Reach. So like I mentioned, I'm still getting my oblique. I'm still getting my abdominals. I'm not feeling any strain in the back of my neck, which is nice. If I do, I'm gonna type it in. I'm gonna ask for something else so that that way I'm not waiting for what's next. Speaking of what's next, we're moving into our cobra pose in four, three, two, and one. So place the hands right in alignment with your chest group, rise up into cobra, then lift off of the tops and lower with control. Nice, if you wanna lower yourself all the way down, you can press yourself up to cobra, Squeeze your butt and then lift your hips up. So for me, I like to have my knees and my hips and my feet as wide apart as I can get them so I've got optimal stability. But could I make this easier, excuse me, harder by bringing my legs closer together? Sure. I just feel it more in my lower back, which to me is not a winning game. So if you feel it in your lower back, the wider the feet, the less compression in the lower spine there. We've got four, three, two. We're on our final four minutes, starting with flutter kicks. So bringing it back to your back. Hands stack, legs to the sky. You can play with pointing and flexing the toes. I say do it both so that you work your brain and your body together. Plus it's a little distraction from what we're doing with the core. If I'm thinking about my feet, I think less about the pain or the heat building in my core. Nice, Julie. Yes, Sarah, good support of the head. Nice, Lauren. Team, we're done in less than four minutes. Less than four. In fact, 
It's about to be less than three minutes. It's the last time we're flutter kicking today. So how are you ending the flutter kick and moving into our second exercise, the saw, in five, four, three, two, and one. So traditional saw might not be great on the flexors. If you wanna follow Amanda, she's doing a modified version of this standing. Twisting from side to side, keeping the arms in alignment with the shoulder socket. Good. Every time you rise back up, I want you to roll those shoulders back. Twist and lean. Can you get the outside of your pinky to the outside of your pinky toe? And maybe the answer is no, but you won't know unless you try it, right? So let the head and neck fall in line with the spine. I hate core, which is why I put it last, because I knew I'd be tired, but I'm pushing my limits here. Good news is we're going to be moving into that last two exercises, alternating diagonal V up in three, two, and one. Roll down to the glutes. Good. Right side, roll left side. And if you don't remember this track, well, this was one of my first CDs as a legal driver in Illinois. So I remember the, the hoopty cars were very popular. I did not have one. I had a 1994 electric blue Corsica. I know you guys are jealous. If you don't know what a Corsica is, it was made by Chevy. Really unattractive vehicle. It was like a knockoff of the Beretta, if you remember what that is. That's what I really wanted. I know you guys care, so finish this out. You've got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, and then we finish with that upward dog nonsense. Five, four, three. Give me one more, two, and one. Flip over onto your belly. If you're losing steam on this one, start with your hands next to your chest. Press your way up to cobra. Take a moment, press into the feet, Lift up as high as you can, lower down with control, and lower all the way. So the elbows graze along the side body. Shoulders roll back, lift your way up. You're like, but Mandy, we did push-ups today. Yeah, I know. But the good news is, in 30 seconds, all of this will be in our rear view mirror. Stretch City Population Us will have about two minutes to do that and then we'll be on our way out. Last 15 more seconds, these look really nice. Make sure your abs are drawn in tight. Nice, good hold, Anna, looking awesome. Nice, Julie, roll your shoulders back. Good, Gav, three, two, everybody meet me in child's pose, please. We made it, we did it, we did the hard work. So once you're in child's pose, I want you to just take a deep breath in through your nose and a deep breath out of your mouth. <sighs> Rise up and bring yourself over to your watch or your device that's playing music and move it to the next track, which is gonna be the cool down track for today. Oh, no, never mind. Somehow it disappeared off my playlist. So we'll cool down really quickly to silence. Sorry, it is what it is. Hug the knees in. Let your body relax on the mat. We're going to start by engaging the seat. So from here, I'm going to press down through my feet, lift off of my hips, take a moment, stretch out the flexors of the group, and then lower the hips back down. Hug the knees in, rock and roll yourself up to the seat. Soles of the feet meet, splay the knees out and fold into the groin group. I like this because I also get a lower back stretch. So think about rounding your back and then flexing your back. Do it two more times. Round your back and flex your back. Good, and then from here, we're gonna stack our shins. So right shin stacks on top of the left shin. Flex both feet and fold into the legs. Take a moment. Feel that stretch in the hips, and then roll up to sit and switch the foot underneath. And this is a super abbreviated stretch because it is 1246, and I want to get you guys out on time. 
I mentioned this at the top of our class today. Um, would love your input, whether it be via email or on DM. I'm thinking about moving this class just a little bit later to like 1230. But if that doesn't work for you, let me know. Go ahead and sit up onto the shin bones. Take the fingertips of the right down. Take the right arm up and over the side waist. Good. Bring out that right wrist. We did a ton with that wrist joint. Return through center and switch sides. Lift through the chest. We're going to do one more stretch and then we'll call it a day. So taking the arms behind the back to stretch the front of the chest group, tuck the chin. Walk the ear over to the right. Back through center and over to the left. Good. Hands down, feet tuck. Walk it up and back from downward dog. Roll to stand slow. Head, neck, and shoulders last. And that, my friends, is all she wrote. Questions, comments, concerns? 